So let's go ahead and start from step number one. In order to start selling on Etsy, the first thing that you need to do is register for your Etsy seller account. It's absolutely free and it's easy to do. So just head over to Etsy's website or click on create an Etsy seller account in the dropshipping cheat sheet. Then click on get started, enter your email address and your designated password. And that's how easy it is to sign up with a free Etsy account. And as you can see right here on the top right, you should already be logged into Etsy. Now scroll to the bottom and you'll see open your Etsy shop. So we're going to go ahead and click on that link. Then it's going to give you a nice little welcome sign. We're going to click on let's do this. Then you can fill in a small questionnaire, but I'm going to go with skip these questions and start my shop. My shop language is in English. The shop country is whatever country you reside in and the shop currency is what currency you want to use on your shop and in most cases we're going to go with the united states dollar then i'm going to click on save and continue now i can name my shop so you can use a business name generator you can use chat gpt to help you generate a store name for your shop or maybe you have no idea what your shop name is going to be you can always skip this and come back later or write a shop name regret it later and change it to whatever else you want so i'm going to call it pet shop, maybe boutique already taken, but it's going to give me a whole bunch of names, recommended names that I can use. So I'm just going to go with one of them, like pet shop boutique co or company. Great thinking. The name is available. Let's go ahead and click on save and continue. Now, in order to continue, we'll need to add a product to our store. Now I will show you how you can do everything with automation and import products from your suppliers. But in this case, we'll need to upload a product that we have laying around our home just so that we can list our first listing on Etsy. Now, I'm not going to do it now in this video tutorial, but it's actually very, very simple. So take some photos of the product that you want to sell, anything that you have laying around the house, but it has to be with the products that Etsy actually allows you to sell, which I will go over soon. Okay, so then you're going to give the item a title, who made it, if it's something that you created, it's even better, but if not, you can choose another company or person. What is it, a finished product or a supplier or tool to make things? And when did you make it or when was it made if you went with another company or person? Then fit it under its category, Write a quick product description, give it a price, and continue scrolling down so that you can finish uploading your first Etsy product manually. Under country of origin, write the country that you're shipping it out of. Now, most likely you're not gonna make a sell on this product unless of course it's something that people are actually looking for, but we wanna do this just so that we can get to the Etsy shop manager. So put in the country, the postal code, and the processing time, how long it will take you to ship out the product if it sells. Then you've got your shipping options. So you've got the shipping service, how long it will take the package to deliver after it was shipped. So here, for example, you can go with five to 10 business days, or depending on how long it will take your item to reach your buyer. So you're either gonna go with free shipping or you're gonna charge for shipping. So the first one is for domestic. So this is if I have a domestic sale and the other one everywhere else is if I was able to sell it to another country in a different location. So same thing, shipping service, delivery time, and what you'll charge if you'll charge for shipping. Then you can save this as a shipping profile, but because you added this product from your home and now you're not gonna add any more products from home, you don't really need to save this shipping profile unless you want to keep listing items and selling them from the comfort of your own home. Now, if I scroll down to the bottom, you'll also see that Etsy provides us with easy shipping policies as templates. So here I can get started with a simple policy, returns and exchanges in 30 days. So this means that the buyer can return or exchange this item within 30 days. The buyer is responsible for return shipping costs, meaning the buyer is going to pay for the return shipping and buyer is responsible for loss in value if the item isn't returned in original conditions. But we're gonna go over all of this. You can also create your own policy from here or you can do it from the shop manager after you import this product. Then you're gonna click on save and continue and your first product will be listed. But now that you understand how to list a product on Etsy really, really quickly, just so that you can get to your shop manager, we're gonna get to the interesting part after you imported your first product. Now, after you're listing your first item and you get to Etsy's shop manager, which looks like this, where we have all these options, all these menus that I'm gonna go over soon, you will need to pass through a verification process. Now, this really isn't much of a problem. I did it really, really quickly on my account and got verified within a day. The verification on Etsy requires the following. First, your personal information. So your name, your address, email address, phone number, etc. Then your payment and your bank information. So you're going to have to provide Etsy with your bank information, which it's going to use to process your payouts and send you your payments from your customers directly to your bank account. They're also going to need a credit card on file and they're going to need to verify your bank information. But that's only after you make your first sale. Besides that, they'll ask for a government issued ID 
And that's pretty much it for the verification process. So if you have all those and 99.5% of us have all those, it shouldn't be any problem to verify your account on Etsy. But if you want to go more in depth, I have a link inside the cheat sheet taking you to the verification process on Etsy and everything that you need to know about it. And besides that, I also left a link to Etsy's selling policies so that you can learn all the ins and outs and new updates that Etsy comes out with all the time regarding Etsy selling policies, which of course applies to you and me, the sellers on Etsy.